<laughs> All right, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here. So I actually had the really fun, cool opportunity to be able to spend a little bit of time with the new 2024 Motorola Razr Plus. And I gotta say, it was actually a very fun, cool experience. It's a great device running that new Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 processor, which is going to give this device some AI capabilities and just have it running great, nice and smooth. But before we get more into that, I just gotta give a big thanks and shout out to Motorola and Snapdragon for actually treating myself and my son out to a San Diego Padres game. And it's there where we were able to test out this device and just be able to use it the whole time that we were there. So this is just gonna be like a first in impressions video, not a full review or anything like that. Just sharing my experience with the few hours that I had with this device. But again, huge thanks and shout out to Snapdragon and Motorola. I gotta say, being part of the Snapdragon Insiders program has just been an amazing experience. I mean, they treat you like family. So a lot of love to all of them, but back to the Razer Plus. So we got to do things like take videos, take photos with this device, be able to use it to play different games. They actually had a full Motorola setup there at the actual stadium itself. And there we were able to use the Razer Plus device where we were able to use the cameras to kind of scan their branding on the wall. And it opened up this, this game that we were able to play using the devices and we can move the devices around using the cameras and it's showing us different, you know, different rings. And we kind of had to just shoot this ball through the rings and each ring uh, was worth, you know, a certain amount of points. So it was me against my son. We played against each other. And I mean, of course, you know, he's all about video games. He's playing all the time. So yes, of course he did win me, but it was still a very cool experience. And, you know, Snapdragon did kind of give us a little tour of the stadium. So that was another fun experience. But just when it comes to the Razer Plus itself, like I said, it's actually a very cool device. Of course, you know, we are getting that foldable inside the display where we get to open, use it. it it's almost like using a regular, you know, smartphone, but you get to close it shut. And one thing that really caught my eye when it comes to the Razer Plus is that outer display. And I gotta say, I actually like the outer display on the Razer Plus a lot better than the outer display on the Galaxy, the new Galaxy Z Flip device because we're getting just a bigger outer display. It's literally pretty much taking up the whole outside, of, except of course for you know where those cameras are sitting, but you can just do so much more on this bigger outer display. And one thing that I really enjoyed doing on that outer display was of course taking selfies. So you can see right here, uh, my son and I using the device to take a selfie and here is the selfie that we took. And I gotta say, the cameras are actually pretty good when it comes to the Razer Plus. I mean, they're gonna get the job done and it's nice being able to use that outer display to be able to take selfies like that because you're using the best cameras on the device. Yes, it does have that, you know, inside camera to be able to take selfies that way if you'd like, but I mean, who doesn't wanna use the best camera possible on their device? So it's nice being able to use that outside display. But another thing that I like doing with that outside display is actually playing games, believe it or not. So when we had a little bit of a break, you know, in between when the teams were, you know, switching positions, you know, we were, I was able to just pull up a game on the outer display just to pass some time and be able to play on there. And it was actually, it ran smooth, it was nice, and it was just very enjoyable. And then when I was done, I was done. I didn't have to shut my phone to end it or anything like that. I mean, the phone's already closed. I just end the game and there, but there are tons of games to choose from there on the Motorola uh, Razr Plus. And there is just so many other things to do on that outside display. And just scrolling through it is actually very, very smooth. But one of my favorite features when it comes to actually recording a video is a camcorder mode. And it kind of just takes me back in the days to where we actually had to use real camcorders to record video. You would hold it like this, pull out that little screen, the little fold out screen or whatever you want to call it and start recording videos. And it's kind of just like that. When you open up the camera on your device and you fold it to that certain position, that's kind of like a camcorder, it will start this camcorder mode. So you can just, you know, start recording like that. As you can see from the B-roll that I am uh, sharing right here. And it's actually very, it's, it's actually very cool feature. But when it does come to just video quality, actually here, just, just check it out for yourself. Oh, <laughs> 
So what do y'all think? Not too bad in my opinion. There I was using the main lens and also the telephoto lens as well. And as you saw, yes, we did get the winning moment when it came to the Padres winning that game. But recording video on the Razer Plus was actually a fun experience, especially because of that camcorder mode. But of course, we did take some photos as well, which did also come out pretty good. But y'all can let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. But just the phone overall itself, like I said, just based off of first impressions, it's actually a very cool device, running very smooth, just with the little time that I had with it there. And it just feels good in the hand as well. It's not too bulky or too big or anything like that. When it's folded, it fits nice in the pocket. And when opened up, you know, you get a nice tall display and it's nice and light as well. If you were to use it to talk on the phone, it's nice that you can kind of fold it. So it kind of, you know, curves with your face when using it to talk on the phone. It's just a really fun experience using the Razer Plus. And then when it comes to just the overall looks of the Motorola Razer Plus itself. I mean, it's actually a very nice looking device. It's definitely gonna turn some heads, especially when they see you opening and closing that device, or even just using that outer display people are definitely going to want to look and see what device you're using. Because I mean, this isn't something that you see every day. You don't see a whole lot of people walking around using a device like this. So it is definitely a head turner, but just based off of first impressions with the Razer Plus, it was actually just a very cool, fun experience. And just being there at the stadium, watching the baseball game, I mean, that was a fun experience as well. So again, huge thanks to Snapdragon. It's great being part of that Snapdragon Insiders. I mean, they really take care of you. And I am very grateful for, you know, them allowing me to be able to, you know, be able to be a part of this team or, or family, really. Because, I mean, when you're there, they treat you like family. And they really just give you a really fun, enjoyable experience. So, again, huge thanks to Snapdragon and huge thanks to Motorola as well. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments sections below. I'm pretty sure my video is not the only video that you have seen about the Motorola Razr Plus. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Like I said, this is just my very first impressions, but hopefully I can get my hands on a device for a longer period of time. That way I can bring you a full review and just really dig deep into the device and really get to know it and learn how to use it further than what I already have. Just, you know, with the few hours that I've had with it, and then I can bring you guys a full review and really let you know what's going on with the Razer Plus. But like I said, if you do want to see that, let me know down in the comments. And if there's anything else you would like to see in that review, if I do get the opportunity, what do you want to know? If you did like this video and find it helpful, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks so much for watching. This was just me sharing my experience with the Razer Plus based off of first impressions. It's a great device. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.